Hey there, it's Jeremy from WebsiteBuilderExpert.com. Thanks for joining this series of tutorials. The purpose of these tutorials is just to give you an overview of the major tools available to you if you want to build a website in Weebly.com. Now, if you're considering signing up for a free account with Weebly, or if you already signed up already and just want to learn more about how to use these tools and get started, I think this series of tutorials will be very helpful for you. Now, if you haven't signed up for Weebly yet, you should uh, because it's free and you don't have to give them any credit card information to do so. All you need to do is insert your name, your email, and the password, and you're ready to go. So on the home page, on the sign up page, just insert your name, email, and password and click sign up. It's free. And the next screen you're going to see is going to direct you directly into the website so you can start building your site. Since we already have an account, I'm going to click Login, insert my username, and so now I'm in the dashboard. Now on this dashboard, it's pretty simple. Um, your sites will be listed on the left hand side here and you can have a domain here where you have the option to purchase a domain name through Weebly but there are many other sources out there which you can purchase your own personal domains as well. Um, so to set up an account you can see I have a website here already but we're going to add a new site today. I want to click add site. Next screen here is that to insert a title for your website. I'm just going to go Weebly example. Of course you can put in any name you want just for you can identify your own website. Continue. This screen here, choose your website domain. So with a free account, Weebly allows you to have a subdomain. So basically I can insert, for example, website builder expert test or something along that line. Just something so you can identify your website. A tip here is that if you don't know what your your domain name is going to be your customized domain name or you're not even sure if you want to use Weebly yet just insert something like your first name and last name and um, just start building a website you can always change this later so it's not locked in if you already have a um, new domain name you can insert it in this column right here and Weebly has other instructions on how to go to your registrar and point the domain name to this website so for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to create a temporary account here. So I'm going to use a subdomain of Weebly.com. Keep in mind that the domain name can always be changed later. So see how quickly it is we're inside the website builder already. And that is a very simple process. Now I'm going to have more tutorials below this that's going to go into more details of how each of these elements work and how you can use them to build your website.